Welcome to Hohenwald, Tennessee. When this World War II era factory shut down, many Americans lost their jobs. But now, thanks to you and SafeStep, they're hard at work again. I'm Daniel Oliver and I'm in charge of operations at the Safe Step Manufacturing Facility in Hohenwald, Tennessee. Before each part can start its process, the molds have to be free of any debris, dirt. Depending on how glossy, how smooth, and how clean the surface of the mold is, that's going to determine the outcome of the finish of the product. I'm the gel coater. I, I'm the first step in this process. The part that I do is actually the part that you see when you're looking at the tub. You've got to keep a consistent spray over the entire tub. There's a lot of different things that go along with the, with the consistency of the tub. As we go through each process, we're gonna have various steps of quality control and, and double checking. One of those measures that we use here is uh, TFM monitors, which tells the operator exactly how much material is being put on each part and we actually measure at each process. After the part is gel coated, the next part of the operation is the skin coat. The reason we use a skin coat is so that after it's dry, we can look and see if there's any air bubbles that have been trapped in that laminate. It's just another quality control station to make sure that we don't have any air entrapment between our laminate. After we do our skin coat, we then apply our build coat, which is a fillable resin. At the build coat station, that's when the frame will be applied and it becomes part of the actual structure. Um, we use an aluminum frame to reduce weight on the tub, but get the strength that's required. Also, we really like the corrosion resistance that aluminum offers, and the aluminum will not rust. After the tubs are built, we then take them to an area where we do a final buff on them, check them for any scratches, dings, or imperfections before they can be moved on. Each tub, once we go to configure it and add the, the different jets, we silicone each one of those jets in and the tub needs to sit for about 24 hours before we start to plumb it. All of our tubs are UL listed. All of the electrical components are individually UL listed that we use, UL listed, tested and approved. And then on top of that, we take all of our electrical components, the whole working tub and send it to UL and have them do a working test on the actual unit, the way it's put together. We form the front part of the door through the same process that we do the skirts through the thermal forming. The door backs, we put them on a CNC mill and we trim them out and make them exactly precise. This has given us the best and tightest tolerances to uh, make sure that, that every time we put a door on, it's going to close the same way, it's going to seal the same way, and, and we know that we're not going to have issues or problems down the road getting the door to seal. Every single tub that we manufacture here is, is water tested. My name is Keith Bobo. I'm a water tester for Safe Step Tubs. The first thing I do when I pull a tub up is I want to make sure it's cleaned out. So I'll spray it out, make sure that there's no dust or anything. And then I plug it in and I make sure right away that the heated seat comes on. And then I cycle it through all the light cycles. Um, and when I get done with that, then I begin to fill it with water. And as it fills, I'll run it for 20 minutes to make sure that it, you know, it fully cycles through a 20 minute cycle. And, and it builds up pressure to make sure it don't leak. After we do that, we go through one final inspection where the tubs are completely clean, buffed, checked for any imperfections prior to being boxed up. Uh, once they're boxed up, they are uh, placed out in the warehouse and they're ready to be delivered. Safety never felt so good. Yeah.